Hey everyone, it's J.I.V. Lee, back with another nail tutorial on how I created these duct tip press-ons. First how I start, I try to get the nail tips that fit my nails the best, um, but even the biggest size was too small for my thumb, so as you can see, I'm kind of like turning it inside out, trying to stretch the nail tip out so it fits my thumbnail better. Now I'm taking my straight edge scissors to cut the nail tip um, almost the same length as my nail so I can add um, the duct tip to the end of it. On Instagram, I saw this woman gluing a coffin nail tip upside down so it creates a straight uh, duck nail tip. And so I have these old nail tips that I don't use anymore. Um, because they don't even have numbers at the bottom, which was annoying trying to figure out the sizing. Um, and of course, these were still too small. So I had to like cut up two of the coffin nail tips and like create my own duct tip. And I'm going in and like flattening them out because they are C-curve uh, coffin nail tips. Now I'm just measuring how long I want the nails to be and then once I get the length that I want um, I'm using my scissors again to cut them and then I cut two nail tips the same length. Now that they're both cut, I'm going to go in with the first coffin tip and just cutting it down the middle. Um, I'm going to glue the right side of the tip down onto the press-ons using my Gorilla Glue. So I've literally never done this before, so you guys are seeing me for the first time try something new. I wanted duct tip press-ons because I never have tried duct tips on myself, so I thought this was a fun little project to do. Looking back now, I think I probably would have benefited from um, going over the press-on tip with my sanding band. So the uh, nail tip, it was a lot easier for it to stick on because it did take, you know, like a minute or two for the nail tip to stick on. Okay, now that that piece is finally stuck on, I'm going to go in with my second nail tip that I cut. First, I'm gonna measure, um, you see the gap between the nail tips? I want to take that second nail tip and cut the middle of it so it fills that gap. Then I'm just gonna glue that down to the middle and make sure that the edge of the middle part is um, exactly matching the edge of the first part. Now you can kind of see the duct tip coming together. So now I'm measuring the last part um, for this duct tip and I see it's just a little bit too long because um, it's like hanging off the side. So I cut it um, a little bit off from the inside of the tip so then the outside, if that makes sense, can fit. And you see it fits perfectly now. And I'm just gonna glue that third part down. Mm -hmm. 
And here is the duct tip press on. So now I'm just showing you guys how I did this and sized my press ons with my non dominant hand. I already went in and stretched the nail tips out. Now I'm just using my straight edge scissors to kind of start the cut. Um, and then I'll use my dominant hand to finish the cut and then finish uh, creating these duck nail tips. So I actually had a, another box of coffin nail tips that I wanted to try these on and they did have the number at the bottom, but um, I'm just doing the same method of stretching them out because they are C-curve and then just like cutting them in half and creating the duck nail tip. While I'm creating these tips, as you can see, there are gaps in between like where the duck tips meet at the top of the nail towards where the press-on is um but that's fine because these press-ons were for me i just ignored that and applied the acrylic over top and i didn't have any issues with that for me the pinky nails were pretty much the only nails that fit the nail tip without like cutting it down the middle or anything so yeah i'm gonna need these nail companies to do a better job of making bigger nails because a lot of times i have clients who have big hands just like me wider nail beds um and it's a little bit tricky sometimes finding nail tips that fit their nails now I'm going in with my sanding band to blend the duck tip I created into the press-on tip that I cut. And I'm going over the rest of the nail just so it has more grit for the acrylic to stick to. Okay, and here are all the duck nail tips that I created. I'm going in with Valentino Beauty Pure Cover Powder in Prettiest Pink. And as you can see, I'm just applying that acrylic on top of the nail tips, um, kind of just ignoring that gap because the acrylic didn't like slide through or anything. I tried to use beads that were just a little bit drier, but still wet enough for me to mold to the sides of the nails so it doesn't like slip through the cracks. But pretty much I just applied the acrylic uh, normally how I usually do. And yeah, it worked for me. I can't lie. When I first uh, saw the trend of like duck nail tips coming back because I do remember when they were popular in the early 2000s um, but as I saw them coming back I was a little nervous to try them myself because I didn't know how application would be but it was actually a lot easier than I thought I think I kind of let my anxiety get to my head uh, with duck tips because they were not hard at all to work with
So I live in Maryland and because the temperature is cold in Maryland, sometimes that uh, makes the monomer a lot more runny because monomer is affected by the temperature. When it's warmer, the monomer sets a lot faster and when it's colder, the monomer will take forever to set. Um, so what I do to increase the setting speed of the monomer is just I add a little bit of acetone to the monomer and then apply my acrylic normally. Um, and I just say a little bit of acetone. If you add too much, it can um, have like that same effect of when it's when the monomer is too hot and it sets really, really quickly. I'm actually really starting to love press-ons and like doing them. At first I was a little apprehensive on doing press-ons because I really love acrylics. Um, but press-ons are just much easier for me now because I am taking a break from putting acrylics on my natural nails because um, last year I felt like I just did my nails too much and it was damaging my nails. So I was like, let me just take a break, but I can't take a break from having nails. So I had to get into press-ons. <laughs> and the last time that I had press-ons, I glued them down to my nail using, you know, nail glue. And those nails would not come off no matter how long I soaked my hands in the, you know, the olive oil and dish soap method that you see on TikTok. So I decided I'm not going to glue the nails, the press-ons down to my nails anymore. Um, so I found these, like, I found this nail tape that you actually use for press-ons. It really kind of is just like double-sided, uh, sticky tape, but it's more of a jelly type of consistency that I found off Amazon and they're great. Here is the finished application. And now I'm just going in my in with my five in one Panna um, carbide drill bit to smooth the surface of the nails. And I'm just uh, using my e-file the same exact way that I would if I'm doing acrylic nails. I start by going underneath the nail um, and cleaning up the any acrylic that might be underneath the nail. Then I start at the bottom of the nail, kind of thin out the tip and work my way up to the cuticle area.
Now I'm going in with my hand nail file and I'm making sure to keep my nail file very straight as I file. And now I turn the nail tip over and I tried to adjust the camera so you guys can see how I filed the tip of the nail on an angle. And then once I was satisfied with how the nail tip looks, I just went in with a 100 grit side and buffed out the nail so it's very smooth. And here are my final nail tips, all filed, buffed, and shaped. So I decided to do orange French tips to match the outfit because I made these press-ons for my Ari Lennox concert. Um, I forgot to record the part of me drawing the French tips, but those were the outlines and here is me just filling in the French tips. I was loving how these were looking. I love them so much I had to take them off and try them. <laughs> and here are the finished nails. They are kawaii duct tips and I love them. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys loved it as much as I love creating it for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys for the next tutorial.